Earth. It's big. It's blue. It's beautiful. But how can we make one in Cinema 4D and make it look realistic? And then bring it into After Effects and add a really cool background. Who knows? We're going to find out in 10 minutes. That's all this is going to take. So let's get started. I'm not going to explain each step as I do it. I'm just going to do it. And then this video is going to be really quick. If there's any step that you don't understand exactly what's going on, you can just hover over any, pretty much any part of the user interface in Cinema 4D, right click, and you can go down to show help and you'll get some really great knowledge straight off the bat uh, explaining exactly what the function does or the button or whatever it is we're using that you didn't understand. Okay, so let's uh, get started. So we're going to create a sphere and we're going to create a new material. Call that Earth and that's what we're going to be creating first off. So we're not going to use the reflectance tab, so I'll just turn it off and we're going to load our Earth image. Okay, so no there, and we are going to move that out of the way and add the Earth material to the sphere, and we're going to rename the sphere, the sphere Earth. Cool, okay. There we have it. It's an Earth. It's not a very earthy looking earth but it is an earth so open up your interactive render viewer and we are going to add a light and we are going to rotate it just a little bit okay it's looking good bring up the render quality up to max there so we get a better idea of what we're dealing with and we're just gonna have a look at this now okay Cool. Okay. So next we're going to add a reflectance. So we want to add our specular map so that the reflectance just affects the ocean and not the countries. So there we go. Okay. That's cool. Now that's taken effect. We want to add some bump load in our bump map. Okay, okay, now we can see that our bump map isn't making much, much of a difference. We need to add shadow, so now we can see that there's a little bit of bump there. If we put it up to 200, you can really see it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, not looking great that high. I like to keep it a bit lower than that. 40 possibly um, just move this light around to have a look yeah we could go for 40 maybe just uh, let me just have a look over at the other side here Okay, I'm going to go for, uh, let's see, I'm going to go for 50. Okay, we're going to go for 50 on the bump. We're going to leave it at that. We could be tweaking this forever <clears throat> and we'd never get this video finished. Okay, so open up the Earth's material again and we're going to select luminance. We're going to load our luminance map, which is here. Okay, so now we have uh, all the city lights, but you can see the city lights in the dark side of the earth and in the bright side. So we don't want to see the city lights in the on the bright side of the earth, of course. We just want to see them in the dark side. So to fix that, we're going to go back into our luminance channel and we are going to add, uh, we're going to add a layer and in that layer we're going to add another effect called backlight and in here we want to set the illumination to 100 and we want to set the shadow intensity to zero so once we've done that we can set the blending mode of the backlight to multiply and there we have it 
just like that we have the the uh, city lights only showing up on the dark side of the earth which is pretty damn cool uh, if you ask me okay so next we want to duplicate the earth layer and call it clouds we're going to increase the size of that to 100.3 and we want to now we want to create the clouds material so create a new material call it clouds and we want to turn off reflectance and we want to load in our clouds image so go ahead and do that in the color channel load in the cloud image select no there okay now if we add this to our clouds object we'll get clouds but all the black parts aren't going to be see-through unless we add it to the alpha channel so i'm going to do that now add the clouds image to the alpha channel and there and then what you'll see is that all the black has disappeared and you're just left with the clouds which is great but they're a bit dark so we want to turn on luminance and that will brighten them up but now they're a little bit too bright especially on the darker area of the earth so we're going to mess around with the colors here maybe go darker blue until it is looking something like this maybe a little bit darker yeah okay that's that's better we're gonna go with that and we can add bump to the clouds also so you can just load the clouds image into your bump channel and now you can see that our clouds have just a little bit of bump so if we bring this right up so you can see the difference that's making so again we don't want to go too high on the strength so we can maybe go for 30% on that yeah I'm happy with that let's just have a look okay so yeah maybe a little bit lower yeah maybe just a little bit lower okay So this is starting to look really good now. Now, as you can see, our clouds are are casting shadows on the earth, which is great, but they're a bit too dark. So I'll turn down the density to a bit. And uh, yeah, I think that's looking much better. Yeah. Okay. So next, we want to create the atmosphere. Let me just have a quick look at this from another side. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so duplicate the clouds object and rename it atmosphere. We're going to create a new material and call it atmosphere. And we want to apply it to the atmosphere object that we just created and also we will like we want to open it up and basically we're going to be using the luminance channel here we're going to go for a nice atmospheric blue in the color and we're going to increase the size the radius to about 103, 103, yeah, cool. And okay, so there we have it. There's our atmosphere, uh, the early stages of it. So open up the atmosphere material again and stick, select your alpha channel. We're going to go for a colorizer shader and we will click air into it, get rid of that red, get rid of the yellow. Well, don't get rid of it, just change it to white. And now we can see our earth again. Now we want to, 
we want to create some subsurface scattering and click inside there. It's loading very slowly there in the interactive render view. Turn on fast evaluation, which you'll find in the multiple tab. And now you'll see it's rendering much quicker. Okay, so next we want to brighten that up a bit. So we're going to put it at fully white. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay. Go to your alpha channel again and tick this box uh, again. The reason being, if you want to find out, you can right click on it and go to show help. We want to add a layer and then inside the layer, we're going to add another shader called Fresnel. And this is going to do wonders for our atmosphere. Go into Fresnel and maybe select another gradient point here. And um, we're going to change the color of the first one to black and slide it over just a little bit so we can soften up those edges. Yeah, now you can see the edges are really softening up there and it's looking way less sharp. Okay, set this to multiply and okay it seems to have disappeared a little bit so we need to increase the brightness just a little bit well by a hundred percent so yeah okay so now it's looking really nice it's a nice soft edge to it i'm just going to reduce it just a little bit because i don't want it to be overpowering and okay i'm happy with that okay so that's looking pretty good so what we're going to do next is we're going to bring we're going to animate this in the next video so we're going to rotate it somewhat or maybe move it a little bit or move the camera out just a bit we're going to do some fanciness with it basically uh, and that's going to be in the next video once that's done we're going to render that out bring it into after effects and we're going to put in some cool particles slash uh, noise background it's going to look at like it's going to look like some cool stardust clouds uh, and it's going to look pretty cool okay guys see you in the next video